Hello everyone, the 316 here with another Marvel Legends review. Uh, it's been a while, this is only my fourth Marvel Legends, but uh, I had to get this one. Anyway, this is the uh, Tobey Maguire, or Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, as it's called on the packaging, uh, from the Spider-Man No Way Home Retro Card Back Wave. That's a mouthful. Retails for $24.99. Uh, I was able to pick mine up at a Target, although it is no longer available from Target, as far as I know. You might have some luck here and there with pickup, but uh, good luck. <laughs> just, just good luck. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, uh, I always wanted to get a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man figure, and of the three that were released, this is the one I wanted the most. Although I am I am that Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, I just hope I can get my hands on one. Uh, it doesn't come with much for the price point, but let's see what we get. So let me, oh yeah, <laughs> let's let's look at the packaging first. As you can see, I just, I tore my packaging a new one. I wasn't going to save it anyway, but uh, there's there's the uh, uh, description there in English if you want to read that. Uh, but you know, it's got some nice key art in the back there of all three of the Spider-Men. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not good enough for me to save, as you see. I ripped the heck out of it. Ooh. Bumped into the camera. Sorry about that. Uh, as I was saying, you don't really get much with the figure. Uh, on camera, I know this, that he is a little color matching to the background and my uh, blue base on the bottom here. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this manila style folder here to get a better uh color contrast so we have something here to uh make him stand out a bit better you can see the color more easily first things first he comes with an unmasked toby Maguire head and unfortunately with mine his hairline is very much receding that's because they glued it on incorrectly you can see the mold marks on both sides Basically, this needed to be shifted forward a little bit, and uh, they messed it up. Although, I think that that actually helps this particular head sculpt look more like the older Toby. Because I, I kind of think this looks like younger Toby, but with the hair sculpt a little bit further back, I think it looks like the older version of him. And I think this this is a great head sculpt. Some people are kind of iffy on it, but like from certain angles, I think it just it looks exceptional. It looks exactly like Tobey Maguire. Hands wise, they did a weird thing here. So in the promo images, they had two uh, thwipping hands as they're referenced to. They had two fists. That was the hands that the figure came with in the promotional images. However, the final product came with two thwipping hands, a right fist and a left wall crawling hand. If it would focus. Yeah, it came with a left wall crawling hand. I'm not sure why. I would have preferred having all six hands, but I guess I have to buy the out-of-stock Hasbro Pulse exclusive three-pack to get all of the hands. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, and then let's take a look at the flip hand. All of these are really nicely painted for the most part, but it's got silver exactly where you think it would need to go. Uh, yeah. And then here's the fist. I think the fist is a bit small, but it's it's in scale, so it's really not that big a deal. All right, so that's all the accessories out of the way, all few you get. Uh, also, you get the uh, mask, which we will take a look at, but I wanted to show this real quick. Yeah, that's, that's Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I think that looks good. Although, I will say, I think the body is undersized for the head sculpt. It's just... I'll get into the problems of this figure in a little bit, but let me stick the mask back on and we can talk about it. Yeah, there we go. Now that his mask is back on, I want to start there because, you know, I collect a lot of Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Rangers figures. And what are the two main important things that I always say are uh, integral to those figures? Number one, the helmet. Helmet has to be spawn on. And uh, number two, the uh, proportions, for the most part in that line, are pretty good. But the proportions have to be relatively good with each other. And while I don't have any other MCU or, uh, you know, Spider-Man, Marvel Legends figures, 
I, I think that there's just something a bit off about this Spider-Man's mask. Like, I, I've been watching some uh, clips, and uh, I turned on the movie briefly just to get an idea of what his head actual head looks like in the mask and uh, this this ain't it <laughs> i will say in person it's a little bit better but not by much and you can kind of fudge it to a point where it doesn't look nearly as bad but i mean it's still off uh but i think the main issue is that you know even on the card let's see i mean i don't want to rip this card anymore but his head here is very round like, it's a lot more round than it is. There you go. You, you can kind of get an idea. Like, it's very similar. But the one thing that, if they wanted to keep this head sculpt, that's fine. But they needed to bring the eyes in a little bit and rotate them slightly. If they brought the eyes in, I think most people would be okay with this head sculpt. But as it stands now, the best thing you can do is to get a custom head sculpt because otherwise th this is this is just not this ain't it <laughs> i mean you know it's not it but you know again from certain angles i think it looks pretty good uh it is painted a bit wonky the silver striping on it is i will say i do appreciate that they did silver on all of the red pieces including the hands that must have been uh, quite a you know biatch to uh, do but uh, it, it the the light reflects off it really nicely just like the actual toby mcguire suit some people are going to complain that it's uh you know silver whereas it, the actual suit was a gunmetal color i think that this looks better on display but you know you can custom paint it if you want i know that some people speaking of custom paint are actually uh taking their extra toby mcguire spider-man dyeing it black with synthetic writ dye and you know making the black suited spider-man and i think that's the, the the people that have done it have done a pretty good job um uh the pff, transitioning to the spider symbols they did a good job on these this looks good and uh you know that one looks good and it does continue if you bend it forward a bit although it it's weird <laughs> i will say the upper portion of the logo looks a bit darker like they needed to do another uh pass over on that one there we go the, uh, that should be better okay uh oh oh i remember what it is the eyes here these are outlined in black they should be outlined in gunmetal i think they did it with black so that they stood out more and you could more easily recognize his eyes although you know the the, the lenses here they're, they're a bright color anyway, so I don't know why they did that. Don't ask me. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is texturing all over the figure on the legs here. You can kind of see it on his crotch there. And if I get real close into the midsection, I'm trying to get a good uh, zoom focus on this. Maybe the back would be a better one to do. It's... My phone camera is good enough for this. It just doesn't want to uh, get the fine detail in there. Okay, there you go. You can see on the shoulder there, it has kind of a hexagonal uh, detail on it. Like a, it, it is uh, molded in there, but it should just be, you know, this blue material continuing into the red. They use the exact same material, just in a different color for this suit. Uh, you know, in the in both in all four movies. So I don't know why they made it a hexagonal pattern. In person, it looks good. On camera, you can barely see it at times. While I do appreciate the silver web lining on this figure, it is blotchy in a few places on mine. Mostly just my mask on the back, but uh, one of these shoulders. Which one is it? Oh, there it is. You can see these have been shifted down. Like, that's that's rough. Oof. Yikes. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think my big issue with this figure is that he's not muscular enough. Like, I get th that this is the No Way Home version of Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood, Tobey Maguire. But th the main issue I have is is that Tobey wasn't, like, this skinny. You know, he was, he was beefy, but he wasn't, like, you know, roided. He was just, like, just a sensibly muscular, average, friendly neighborhood. 
Spider-Man, right? So I do wish that they actually beefed him out just a little bit more. Maybe it was a budget thing. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get into posability now. So if you notice, my figure's upper torso is leaning that way a little bit. I did try to like push it back into place, but now it's leaning this way. And oh well, it was a little bit stuck out of the packaging, but all I did was just, you know, turn it and then I was able to get it to move in any which way I want. And yeah, there's great movement in here. And of course you got the bend here. And yeah, that looks a little weird. But, uh, you know, my back. <laughs> that, that's God, his back must hurt. My back. <laughs> Yikes. Ouch. Okay. Uh, he does have butterfly joints, but they're not really that useful. You probably have to uh, take apart the figure if you want to get more than just that. Head's good, actually. Uh, you know, you get lots of pivot. He can look up decently. He can look down okay, not much, but kind of gives me Spooderman vibes with this uh, neck, you know. Hey guys, I'm gonna pull her. <laughs> anyway, um, I I mean the rest of the posability is what you'd expect, though. You know, he's got some of that going on. He's got the you know, go whip, go fly. <laughs> uh, he does have the drop down legs, but they're very stiff. They're they're not stiff enough to break just. Stupid I'm trying to do this. Yeah. Yeah, you can just see like it just barely comes out. And he you know, you know, you got some of this and uh, here's the double jointed knees. That's real nice. And uh, you know, of course he's got the toe pivot and uh bend. You know, you can get some real wacky poses with this guy. You know, I don't think Toby would, you know, make a pose like this, but I don't know. He might. You never know. Maybe he's on the side of a building doing a photo op. But yeah, get him in some wacky poses. I think for the most part, this figure does exactly what it needs to. But uh, I, I wish they did some things differently with it. N number one, just give me all the hands. Like, please, just give me all the hands. Number two, beef him out a bit. You know, Toby wasn't a stick, and this figure kind of feels like a stick. Proportionally, I think it's good. It's just I, I want something a little bit beefier. You know, this guy's a bit too lean for me, uh, especially in the shoulders. Like, Toby's shoulders were much higher up than this. And obviously, I get that they have to do this for articulation, but you could have you could have made these bigger. Like, you could have done that. You just you didn't. And it makes me sad. Before I forget, I need to grab an accessory off of my shelf. There we go. Now, this isn't the exact... I, I think this accessory would have been great. But, uh, you know, it's pizza time. <laughs> so he's got a pizza. I'll probably pose him with this, with his uh, wall crawling hand here. So just take that off and stick this on. And now he can enjoy some quality New York City pizza. Yeah, I'll figure out how to hold him with it later. Okay, now that you've gotten a good idea on this guy, let's go ahead and stand him up. I can move that out of the way now. I would have done the review like this. I just wanted something to uh, contrast with the red and blue, other than red and blue. <laughs> All right, I, I am planning on changing my background sometime this month, like I did last year, from blue to red, now from red to uh, a different color, which you'll see in a bit. So, Toby Maguire here stands at, I'd say like six and, what is that, like one, <laughs> I can't math right now. I mean, he's close to six and a third, fourth, my brain is frazzled. I'm, I'm just going to say six and a fourth. I don't know anymore. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at how he looks next to some figures. Starting off with a Marvel Legend, we have my Extremis Iron Man. And yeah, you can see he gets dwarfed by him. It's, I mean, it makes sense because the comic figures are a bit taller, but like, 
I, you know, looking at this Iron Man here, I kind of wish this beefiness was on the Spidey. Not not the size, just just the musculature, you know. And obviously he's in a suit iron, whatever. But uh, we'll leave Iron Man in here. And let's bring in some other lines. Let's start off with Mattel Elite John Cena. Do, 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 do. If I can get him to stand. Next up, we have another Hasbro line. Tiger Force Outback. All right, last Hasbro line that I have a figure of. We have, and we'll stick him in here. We have Dino Thunder Black. We have an upcoming review for this next figure. It is the Walmart exclusive black and white McFarlane DC Multiverse Arkham City Batman. Now that's a mouthful. All right, uh, two more figures to go. We got another wrestling figure here. We got AEW Target exclusive Samoa Joe. If I can get him. Ah, that's a good place for him. Almost last, we have the... Uh, Jazz wears as well, the Spartan Yoroi from the Spartan Collection. And of course, we have uh, the debut of Santa Trocitus. Let's, let's get, there you go. Get the, uh, get the full breadth in here. I will say having uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man next to these other figures, it's uh, kind of like a dream come true for me. Like, I always wanted to have a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man action figure, and, you know, the Mega Bloks ones were good, but, you know, I'm kind of reconsidering the whole beefiness thing about him. I still definitely think his body's a little too small, maybe upscale it just a touch, because that the, the civilian head, the Tobey Maguire head on it, looks a little weird. And while I'm not fully satisfied with the mask, at some point I may get a custom, I think of it... When he's next to everybody else, it's very clear what Spider-Man this is, right? So, it, I will recommend this figure. I mean, you, you could do a lot worse for $25. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do the other Spider-Man uh, action figure reviews. Uh, Toby and Andrew, if I could get my hands on them. <laughs> Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit the bell, it all helps out. I also have an eBay store in the description below. And as always, peace.